hello guys. Ah, it has been a really long time since I posted anything on this particular channel. I thought I would post something on here to tell you hello and that yes, I am aware that I have two channels and that I need to spend a little TLC on this one too. So yeah. <sighs> wow, it's almost been, I don't even know how long it's been. Almost a year? I know it hasn't been a year yet. Woo! It's wonderful to be back on this channel. I don't know why. You would think this channel would be easier to maintain than the other one that I have, where I'm talking about, you know, just shows and things, but for some reason, it's just a little harder for me to just have time to sit down and, I don't know, talk about my life and stuff. Anywho, here I am back again, and I thought I would just talk about a little bit about what I've been up to and what not. Personally, I like fall and winter. They are my absolute favorite months because one, uh, perfect timing for sweaters. Cozy. I feel like uh, a static TV right now or one of those weird uh, old school com composition books. So feeling, feeling nostalgic wearing this sweater. I also do not mind hot cocoa. Uh, come on. Who does not like hot cocoa? But it's just that time of year where even though you're chilly, you still feel all warm and fuzzy inside because you just love Christmas and the holidays and it's not the fact of uh, getting gifts, but I love working on and, and not receiving, oh my gosh, giving gifts. It's really fun. So this year I've been working on a couple things for my secret Santa. Hopefully they don't watch this. I don't think they do. If you are watching this, Hooray! this year I've been trying to work on five things. Luckily our exchange is the day after Christmas, so I'm still working on my presents, I know. And surprisingly, I started like a, a few weeks ago, so <sighs> I thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing anyway. Was it last year or the year before that I showed you my mug that I made, my Goonie mug? I was pretty proud of it. My friend really likes florals and blacks and reds and just like those classic go-to colors. So I saw at uh, Forever 21 that they had this really nice scarf. It's really big. <laughs> so I feel like who can go wrong with scarves, right? It's the winter time. Another item that I thought I would get her, I don't have it with me because I ordered it and I don't know where it is. So hopefully it's coming soon. Please. But I'll post a picture right here. It's yeah, it was on sale. It's like a stain, a lip stain, which I personally like to use. I like lip stains because ain't nobody got time for that. Ugh, I am not the kind of person that is gonna put lipstick on and then have to reapply it. The next thing, which was a big project on my part. I don't know the specific <laughs> titles for these, but this is a tool that you can, these are tools you can use for jewelry. Yeah, I know, what? I have never, ever, ever attempted to make jewelry in my entire life. I just buy it. This was a huge, huge undertaking for me. I have never done that for any of my friends, and that is different. Next, I didn't know how many beads that you're supposed to buy, so I went on Amazon and I just bought a ton, like 800 beads. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you're making a necklace, you don't need that many. But just like to say I'm pretty proud of myself. I thought I'd choose Christmassy colors, um, and they're all different sizes. Can you see that? Yes. It reminds me of like uh, peppermint. The girl said it was gonna take like maybe an hour or two. Uh, it did not take me that long. It took me actually uh, like six hours, so. Uh, I was slow. I was uh, having a rough time, but I ended up with this bad boy. I'm hoping she'll like this. I'm really hoping, and I'm also hoping that it fits her. And while I was at it, my other friend, it's her birthday, it just passed actually, but she lives, she just moved, so she's a little farther away from me now, and I'm sad, but she will be coming home for Christmas. So I did a little different take on it. So this is hers. It looks like a big bunch of stuff, but 
I hope they like it and it will just I'm hoping that it will just go with any outfit that they have. Another item that I'm trying to work on though I haven't really started but I'll show you the materials that I'm getting. Um, I bought a frame at the dollar store and then I have some watercolor paper um, my secret Santa is obsessed. She is a true Whovian, and if you don't know what that means, it means they totally love Doctor Who and all about his world. Um, I'm going to paint a picture with the phone booth. This is from a cheaper brand. It's called Aquarello. This is what I draw with, guys. Uh, not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah, and then I'm going to frame it for her and hopefully she will like it so that's what I'm doing this Christmas I also got a lot of George Foreman's because they were on crazy sale they were all eight dollars I don't even like to grill and you know what I bought myself one because I thought eight dollars right I don't know about you guys but I have those iconic films that I have to see in order to make and feel like it's the holiday season so I thought I would talk about those with you. Now I did mention this on my other channel very briefly, but I am a huge fan of A Christmas Carol by the legendary Charles Dickens. I don't know what is about that, but I love A Christmas Carol. The whole story, I love when they go back in the past. I've just seen, I've, I've seen almost in every single version of it, almost. The musical, the play version, the Muppets version, the Mickey Mouse version, even the old black and white version. Like, if there is, I mean, if it's on TV, I'm gonna watch that because I just, there's something about it. There's something about the story. Another movie, or should I say movies, that I just cannot end the Christmas holiday season without watching is Home Alone 1 and 2. Sorry to number 3, but I just... I never watched it. I always wanted to be Kevin. The 1 and 2 are my absolute faves, and the two people that are my absolute faves are Harry and Marv. They are so funny. The Wet Bandits, or should I say Sticky Bandits? Hmm. I also like Elf. Really love that. You sit on a throne of lies! I love to just throw out quotations from that movie once in a while. And I can't forget one more movie that I love. It's called The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. There's just something, there's just something about that movie. Bernard, this one girl elf that supposedly in that movie makes the best hot chocolate ever. Like, she's worked on it for hundreds of years and that is my goal in life, to find a hot chocolate that tastes just like hers, and that is like, oh, it's perfect. I'm sure there are tons more out there that you guys love, so if you'd like to share Christmas movies that you have to see, you know, must see movies, if not, it's gonna ruin your Christmas type of movies, please share them down in the description box. I'd love to hear. So I guess that wraps up my holiday video for the, uh, for, I guess 2014 wow I hope this year was a good one if not we're gonna make this one a better one and that's what I'm hoping as well I'm gonna try and write down some goals and follow through with them it's always hard so I think I'm just gonna stick with a couple I hope everyone's holidays whether you celebrate Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever I hope you all have a wonderful holiday I suppose this is going to be my last video for this year. Have a nice day, have a nice rest of the year, and I will see you next year. Sounds kind of weird. Bye guys!